Hi guys, Roth here, and today I'll be unpackaging some packages that uh, I bought from eBay. And yes, yeah, so I'm just gonna do like a few of them, probably three of them. So these are movies, I guess. So here's the first package. I'm gonna cut this open. So this is Indian in the Cupboard, Anniversary Edition. This is on Blu-ray. And it just released recently. I was a huge fan of this film. Well, even before the film released, um, it's it's actually a a book. And yeah, it was one of my favorite books uh, growing up. I read this in school. And yeah, just just after he finished the first uh, book, you know, then out came the live action movie. And wow, I was, I was amazed to see how it came out. And yeah, sadly, they never came out with a part two. I, I really liked the first movie. So now it's finally on, on Blu-ray. I remember when it came out on VHS, on home video, and came with a... Well, the whole packaging was like like a the actual cupboard from the movie. And it even included a little figure and even had the key to you know unlock the um, the VHS which has like a hole inside you fit the key in there and then you have the you know the little foot guy in there I think his name is Littlefoot from if I can remember correctly <laughs> I've got the cowboy's name but yeah it's a really cool film if you like uh, I think a, a modern version to compare it to would be the uh, Night at the Museum if you've seen that with uh, Ben Stiller and Robin Williams. It's kind of like that, where you know things come alive. So they're, they're actually you know little figures like like that, like that. And when the when the kid unlocks, puts them in the cupboard, and he unlocks them, then he, the the figures come alive. Basically anything like dinosaurs. There's like dinosaurs in there. Really really cool film, man. You definitely check this out. A really good uh, children's film. So it's got some extras in there. Cast with the Goosebumps. Oh yeah, this came out around the same time when the Goosebumps movie came out. Goosebumps, another great horror anthology uh, books for uh, children. So that's really cool. Reflection. Little Bear. Oh, his name is Little Bear, not Little Foot. What am I talking about? Little Foot is from uh, the, the Land Before Time. <laughs> that's a dinosaur movie. But um. Okay, cool. So it's got a commentary with a Frank Oz director. Nice. That's that's pretty cool. Right on. Let's check. Let's see if the uh, covers are still the same. Yep, it's still the same. And I might have the book somewhere. Uh, I might still have the book somewhere. Let me see. Yep, it's right here. So this is a book um, that I read in fourth grade. So we read the book and after we finished it, I think we finished like two books. Uh, it was this one and the sequel after this. This one's written by Lynn Reed Banks. She's done um, the whole series, I think. It's a whole series of these Indian in the Cupboard. Um, so yeah, like I think uh, I think I got this one from a uh, book fair. Um, so like after we read the books and then uh, we were, we had one of those book fairs so we can choose any book that we want for free. And uh, I think we had like probably like three three times um, per year, so we get to choose any book that we want. So I, I just picked one of these. I just picked this one because I, I really like this one, and um, probably the best one out of um, what was there at the time. But uh, yeah, it's one of my favorites. So yeah, this there's some images I I happened to colored in with a colored pencil at that time. Wow, well, seeing these images, man, just brings me back. But, uh, because I like I like the artwork in this one too. Wow, this one, this one definitely uh, rings a bell. Wow, man. Wow, I remember that. Wow, these images, man. Oh, I remember the soldier. Wow, now now, now scenes from the movie are coming back to me. I definitely need us to watch the movie. Wow, I remember that house. He built that, and he used like real um, dirt from his backyard and stuff. Oh yeah, and the, he had a horse too. That's nice. I, rem I definitely remember that. Wow. 
this is this all bringing back memories. Oh yeah, I meant then the kids came to like uh, uh, bother them and stuff, trying to look out what's what they're hiding and stuff. And then I, guess, I think they became friends afterwards. Um, I think maybe I should start doing like reviews of books from my childhood. So this is like this, you know, this is definitely a book from my childhood. So I'm kind of like part reviewing it a little bit. Oh man, seeing these images, man, it just like tickles my nostalgia bone. All right, man. I remember coloring, coloring them too. All right, this one when they were watching TV, and then uh, little bear shoots an arrow at the, uh, the cowboy dude. That guy's name. And then, uh, but they came, became friends afterwards. Oh yeah, and this mouse. Ah, oh, dude. Oh man, this. I'm getting, I'm getting chills here. Oh yeah, these are the, are the other books. Uh, Return of the Indian, that's another one. The Secret of the Indian, Mystery Cup, oh man. Oh yeah, oh yeah, and he has, he has a wife too. I forgot about that, now I remembered. Oh wow, and then, yeah, then, then they all became friends and then he closes the cupboard. Oh man, that was awesome. Spoiler alert, yeah, it's a little bit spoiler alert there, but uh, wow man. So yeah, this is the, this is the actual book. You know, it says it right there, uh, now a major motion picture from Paramount. So yeah, I think this was definitely afterwards. Uh, wait, is that a Criterion logo? Wow, it looks, it looks like a Criterion. Or the, the modern Criterion. Well, this this wasn't... Um, oh, this was a uh, Vibrant Camelot. Oh, man. Because a Criterion uh, collection, they, they definitely have a um, logo just like that now. Which, uh, so yeah, so this the you know the movie and the book that I have. And this will also just be my, my shelf collection. You know, after knowing the book and stuff, the books, and then just leave seeing the live action, it's like we, we know what to expect. Uh, those who have read the books know what to expect, and like just seeing in live action and having the characters come to life, it's like, wow, you know? Because when you read the books, you don't have any pictures, you just have the words and your imagination. It's all detailed in the books, so when you, as you're reading, so you just kind of imagine it. So like when you watch the movie, it's like, wow, you know, that's just how I imagine it, and like, if every scene just follows through with what happens in the book. Frank Oz, he's 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 the man, man. Like he's he's done a good job in this. The author was involved with uh, with this too. He, you know, she was a uh, spectator, or she was you know monitoring, you know, as it was you know, being shot. The films were being shot, so they did a good job with this movie. I really liked it. So now I have the movie on Blu-ray. I wish I had the VHS. The VHS was really cool too. It had a really cool packaging. Like I mentioned, um, you know, it's just a it's like it's like a, a brownish. A brownish color you know like one of those plastic ones and um, it looks kind of like a Disney kind of package but it's, it's, it's brown and then it, it's made to look like the cupboard from you know you see you can see part of it here but um, you know when it's closed when you watch the movie you'll, 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 you'll notice it but um, yeah when you open it up you have you have the key and you have a little figure of little bear so that's pretty cool so this art cover is, is okay looking. I mean, it's nice and, and new, but I like I prefer the old uh, uh, art cover, which is on the VHS, um, which is the standard uh, edition of the VHS, not the collector's one that I just, I just mentioned. But uh, nice to, be, to own uh, both of them. But uh, yeah. Anyways, yeah. So this the, the Indian cupboard, one of my favorites. So that's that. <laughs>